Hey guys, it's Jeans Reacts here. Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, then it's just welcome back. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you can keep up with what I'm doing on this channel. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into episode two of Baddies West. So in the second episode, it's a continuation of the fight between Stunna, Roly, and Biggie. Roly's pissed off because she got a wig snatched by Stunna and also a bunch of alcohol tossed in her eyes where the girl could have potentially blinded Roly. And Biggie is ecstatic because she got a lick in on Stunna. And it's low-key lame because why are you jumping in when it's a one-on-one -on -one fight? It seems kind of odd, but do what you got to do. So Stunna is escorted out of the van and placed in the car behind the van. Roly is still trying to make her way to her, pushing security out the way, but security is blocking her and they ain't having it. And so she pretty much gives up and just sits back down on the bus. While they're going down the bus, um, Kat says that she pretty much understands why Roly was going to have her one with Sunna because Sunna did throw alcohol in her eyes, but she just wasn't going to have Biggie jumping into that fight. Biggie let it be known that she wasn't trying to jump Sunna. She said, her girl, Roly, just couldn't defend herself because of the alcohol that was in her eyes. And plus, Stunna did throw a bottle at her earlier, so she was just trying to get her lick in. I understood where Biggie was coming from, but at the end of the day, it's still 2 on one And Stunna, she doesn't look like that much of a threat. She looked like she's probably only like 4'9". She doesn't look like she's hard to beat, and she's way too small for y'all to be trying to tag team or jump her. So however you flip it, you still look whack, and you still look lame, and you still look like a bully in some way, shape, and form. Everybody tries to give Kat the breakdown, like, oh, it's not really jumping. Since she attacked both of them first, she launched the bottle at Biggie, and she also threw um, alcohol in Roly's face. And then Kat was like, oh, I didn't see all that. I'm like, how you were right there? But anyways, um, Roly's still going off, and she's highly upset. And she said, when I get to the house, like, I'm going to be making her life miserable. Like, I'm going to make sure that she's not having a good time. So then Natalie takes it upon herself to reveal the interview that she had with Stunna and that apparently Stunna <laughs> kidnapped a girl and put her in a doggy cage. However, I have been on social media. I know this video is a little bit late. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, I've been working a lot, but... Um, I did see what was going on social media in between, you know, hours and lunch breaks. Um, and I did see the whole situation with Tommy and Rocky bad. And she did explain a little bit. She said it wasn't even no females that was doing it. It was a bunch of grown men. So then I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, so you mean to tell me you set this girl up to get kidnapped by a bunch of men and they're the ones that locked her in the doggy cage. Okay, I'm like, all respect has been lost. Like, I'm no longer interested in this storyline. Stun is an official weirdo. And I feel like how Razor feel. Like, you locking someone in a dog cage and having someone kidnapped is inhumane. Like, Razor went to jail for self-defense, apparently, and never nothing more than that. And... I completely agree with Razor. Like, that's literally inhumane and that's weird. You're literally torturing somebody. Your housemate is literally a psycho. However, Natalie, she's going to do what she has to do to make sure that this show pops. And she's succeeding. Like, we are all tuning in. Like, I'm doing this review right now. We are all tuning in. So she's getting her way. And then Lauren makes a point in her confessional saying that I feel like Natalie should be the leader and should like, you know, get this together and stop all this and get in control and set control in this type of environment. Like these girls are going crazy. And y'all got to understand, Natalie is a producer first. <laughs> she's a producer first. So she's doing what she has to do. And that's sitting back and let y'all act a cotton pick and fool. Like do what y'all got to do. Y'all are literally giving her her coin. So she's pretty much already doing her job. She doesn't need a set control. Now, if people start to, you know, take things a bit too far, then yes, yeah, step in, take control. But y'all doing what Natalie wants. <laughs> Period. So they make it to the house. And before they get in the house, Natalie is dragging this out. And everyone is clearly over like, girl, let's just see the house already. Natalie is just saying, you know, someone got to check on Stunna. You know, Tommy and Rock are still in here. 
And then Lauren was like, girl, who cares? Like, we don't care what else is new. And I'm just like, Lauren, Lauren, stop taking the bait. Stop taking the bait. Like, she's saying this on purpose. Like, this is now, this is like production Natalie, producer Natalie coming in. These little tidbits and these little crumbs that she's dropping, like Krishan this, Krishan that. She wants one of y'all to say something reckless so she could tell Krishan and one of y'all get popped in the face, like what happens later this episode. So she said, well, one of y'all got to check on Stunner Roly. And Big just like, I'll check on her, I'll check on her. And Kat is like, no, shut up. I'll check on her. She's like, okay, Kat, you go ahead and check on her. She's saying, we're going to go in the house. So <laughs> they go their separate ways. They get in the house. Biggie, at first, is roommates with Krishan. Because when she started giving girls the little roommates. Biggie, at first, is roommates with Krishan. Razor and Lo are roommates, which is like good. They like each other. They survive. Scotty, odd enough, is a roommate with Roly, which I feel like is so weird because they literally had a whole beef last season. But, you know, that was last season, and they're both here now, and they seem cool now. And Natalie is getting her own room. So then everyone dispersed, go their separate ways. And we cut to a scene where a cat is talking to Stunna. And Stunna was just like, you know... I'm really, like, not with that type of mess. Like, I ain't come here to fight or nothing. She said, but I'm with it. And then Kat was just like, well, yeah, I completely understand you. Like, I wasn't going to let nobody jump you. That whole thing with Biggie, that was not going to happen. And then she said, but Roly took offense to when you made that threat. And then Stun immediately called him, just like, child. She said, Roly just wanted attention. Like, Roly just wanted me to have an issue with her. She said, so that was just fake and stupid. And then... Stunna also let it be known in her confession. She said, me and Kat known that, you know, <laughs> we realized that Biggie was just trying to get camera time. Like, as soon as the cameras turned on, she turned into Rock Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> and she said, and she was like, and she was just trying to, you know, get her camera time and act all crazy. She said, me and Kat was looking at her like, this girl is crazy. Like, this girl is weird and annoying. She said, so I'm not surprised that Kat was going to be the one to check on me. So clearly, by the time Kat and Stunna got back into the house, clearly they were going to be roommates. Like, nobody else was going to be roommates with Stunna because just based off the dynamic of the house, it wasn't going to go down that way. So then Natalie invites Biggie to her room, and then Biggie, she let Biggie be known. She's like, you're going to be my right-hand man. She said, you're going to be helping me with certain things, going to be rounding all the girls up. And Biggie's just so happy that Natalie is picking her and choosing her to be her bodyguard. I'm like, Biggie, why are you doing this? Now just going to treat you like she treats everybody. Like, I don't know what you're getting so excited for. You're just going to be her main puppet for this season. So she said, well, first, she said, um, we're going to have to call Tommy. So then, no, they called Krishan. She said, we're going to call Krishan. So they called Krishan. And Krishan is literally weirded out. I was like, why are you calling right now? She said, oh, yeah. She said, I'm here with Biggie, and you're late. You're late. You need to come to the house. You're late. And she said, Natalie, quit playing with me. Like, wh why do you care? Like, why are you calling me? She said, why are you telling me I'm late? It's not that important. Y'all ain't doing nothing anyway. She said, well, just hurry up and come to the house. She said, I'll get to the house when I get to the house. <laughs> I just okay, well, bye, Krishan. And then Krishan was like, you're weird, bro. So then she hung up. <laughs> and she said, okay, now we're going to call Tommy. And she said, I just want to let you know, guess who your roommate's going to be? She said, it's going to be Tommy. And, you know, Big is just excited. So they're talking to Tommy. Tommy's getting her hair done. And she said, oh, yeah, roomie, I'm going to be your new roomie. And then was like, oh, she's going to be my roomie? She's like, yeah. And then Tommy was like, oh. And she's obviously not feeling that. She's probably going to get a hotel. And then they told her about what happened on the bus, how Stunna was fighting Biggie, and she was fighting Roly, and she was like, wow, that's crazy, huh? She was fighting everybody, and Tommy was in the confession, was like, you fighting everybody, you're not just fighting me, like, you are the issue. So like, you need to hurry up and get to this house, it's going down, it's going down. But mind y'all, when it comes to these whole rooms and these roommate situation, this is wrong on so many levels. Each room has like a huge bed. Well, it might not be that huge because Kat said her bed was like a full. And I was like, uh-uh, that's not okay. Y'all grown adults. Why y'all sleeping on a full bed? But 
<laughs> there's like a full bed in some rooms and I'm guessing a queen and a king size bed in other rooms. But then there's like a little doggy bed that's on the floor. And I'm like, I know Lemmy is literally like making way too much money for him to be having this girl sleeping on twin beds on the floor, like twin mattresses on the floor. I was like, no, Zeus is making way too much money for them to be doing these girls like this. Like that is awful. So majority of the girls letting it be known, like, I'm not sleeping on no doggy bed. And like, so I already know majority of this cast is probably going to be chilling in hotel rooms. So Kat and Sonna finally get into the house. And when they finally get into the house, they talking to Natalie and Natalie was like, well, we're all going to have like a little group meeting in the living room and we're just going to try to chop it up and talk it out. And then, you know, Stun is just looking up with this dead expression on her face. Like, she just looks so angry. She said, are you down to talk or whatever? She said, yeah, I'm down to talk. We can talk or whatever. And I'm like, we all know Stun ain't trying to, like, talk or nothing. She's just trying to get active. Like, she's on that type of time. So, all right, well, y'all go to y'all rooms. And that's when Kat and Stun go to their rooms. And they see us only a full bed. <laughs> and Kat was like, I'm not sleeping in here. So she was like, are you promising you're going to talk? Because they did sit down on the bed and start talking. She said, like, promise you're going to talk? And she said, yeah, I'm going to talk. She said, but I'm always going to be active. I'm always going to be on go. She said, these girls are not going to punk me. And then Kat was like, well, I respect it. So then Kat left the room to try to talk to Natalie to see if she can like get a hotel because she's not sleeping in a full-size bed with another grown woman. And then Krishan calls and her Sky pulling up. Mind you, Natalie keeps letting it be known that Sky's only around because Krishan needs a babysitter, which I feel is so disrespectful. I don't know if Krishan is like paying attention to all this when she's like watching it, if she's watching all this now. But they pretty much a little girl in like Krishan just saying that like, yeah, like you need a babysitter because you don't know how to act. And if I'm Sky, I would feel disrespected too. Like, y'all saying y'all didn't even want me on the show. Y'all just added me to the show because this psycho need a babysitter. Absolutely disrespectful. Hopefully one of them checked Natalie about that because I feel like she out of line for that. And that's mad rude. But they come through the door and Natalie just keeps, you know, that, produ that producer hat is on, y'all. That producer hat is all the way on. She said, the girls are mad at you, Krishan. Because you're late, you're late, you're late, and these girls aren't liking it. And Krishan is brushed off her. She said, okay, whatever, you know, it is what it is. I'm here now. I didn't miss anything. Who cares? Move on. And then she said, oh, she said, I've never seen the tooth in person. She said, is that the tooth? She said, yes, yeah, the tooth, yeah. And she took it out and put it in Natalie's face, which was absolutely disgusting. I would smack that tooth out of her hand. And like, don't you ever play in my face like that, but... She was just like, yeah. She said, yeah, this is who she said. No, don't sing. You know, my breath stink. Does this stink, Sky? And Sky was like, absolutely not, Krishan. It smells magnificent. It's like, no, she didn't say all that. But she was just like, no, it doesn't stink. And then she said, well, no, seriously, these girls are mad at you, Krishan, because you're late. You're late. And, you know, these girls are pissed with you. And then Krishan was like, so? Like, why are you being weird for? Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, she said, well, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what happened yesterday at the photo shoot. And we're just going to make sure that everything is okay. We're going to have like a big talk in the room. So they go to the living room to talk about it. And then she bringing Biggie down and Biggie's coming down. She said, can you round up all the girls? And Biggie was just like, yeah, I can round up all the girls. So while she's doing that, first of all, they also peeped the name on Biggie's butt. And they thought that was funny. But while they were bringing the girls down, while Biggie's calling up all the girls, Stunner tries to run up on Biggie. Security was there to snatch her up, and it seemed like Rolly tried to get in and fight her as well. And you guys, I really need everyone to stop saying that Rolly looks like Luther Vandross without her wig. Don't y'all ever disrespect Luther like that. Luther would never step out his house looking the way Rolly be looking. It isn't giving Luther, it's giving Mabel from WWE. Like, quit playing on Luther's top. Like, quit playing with him. But anyways, um, they're all breaking it up. Security breaking it up. And y'all, when Biggie was squaring up and laughing, she's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, Biggie is living for all of this. So since Stunna don't know how to act, <laughs> and she acting like a fool everywhere she goes, she's playing in another room with Kat. So the rest of the girls go to the main room. 
And now he's trying to say, yeah, we got to discuss what happened yesterday. What was that all about in the other room? She said, oh, yeah. She said, I just, you know, really was just like, I'm just sick of Stunner. That girl threw alcohol in my eyes and I want to fight her again. Like, why is she in another room? I want to fight her again. And she said, well, she said, well, we, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry. Because Natalie's like, don't worry. We're going to get to that fight. <laughs> but she said, we're going to get to that. But we also want to want to talk about what happened with the photo shoot because all that stuff was stunning. You happened today, but we need to talk about what happened to the photo shoot. And I'm with Razor on this one again. It seemed like Razor on one that got common sense around here. She said, "I'm sick of talking about the photo shoot. I don't want to talk about the photo shoot anymore. Why are we still talking about this? This is stupid." So, she said, "You know, it seems like everybody had a, like a di- their different issues and their different problems." So then, Lo. She decides to speak up and say, she said, well, I feel like yesterday was unprofessional. Like that whole thing was stunning. Tommy thing happened and that delayed everything. We couldn't really get any shots done. She said, and also point of question, she said, you were late. She said, you showed up late and then you left early. She said, DJ Scott showed up before everybody. And DJ Scott was like, <laughs> on time. And I was like, dang, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I thought Krishan was your best friend. I'm like, dang, Sky. But anyways, she said, you're on time. Though. I was like, yeah, on time. And then Krishan was like, what do you mean, like, I'm late and not on time? I'm like, what do you mean what she means? She just said, like, you showed up late and you left early and they weren't able to do a group photo. Like, she just said it. What are you, deaf? So... <laughs> She was like, like I said, she said, you left early and you came late. She said, but what do you mean I'm wasting everybody's time, though? And it seemed like, it seemed like Biggie was trying to, like, save Lo in a way. Because she was just like, well, you know, just to be clear, she said, it wasn't just Krishan. She said, it was everybody. She said, I feel like, you know, everybody had their issues. Everybody was a problem for little things here and there, she said. But Stunna was the main issue. And I'm like, I see that. Because she did snatch Tommy and start all the commotion. And then it went downhill. And I'm sure, you know, a lot of the photographers didn't want to even be a part of it after that fight went down. Didn't want to be part of this photo shoot at all. But then, like Razor said, she said, well, we all expected that to happen, like, with the whole Tommy thing. She had her own beef, so that kind of made sense. And then Big was like, well, yeah, I'm just saying. I know, like, when it's on site, it's on site. So at this point, Krishan sits up out of her seat. And, and I'm, I'm just wondering why no one, like, tapped low. Like, no one was just like, hey, girl, get ready. Like, as soon as Krishan sat up, Lo should have sat up as well. Because the way, <laughs> the way Krishan was just staring at Lo, like, girl, I'm going to knock your head off. And it seemed like Lo wasn't catching any of the signs. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, you, this girl just sat up and, like, is giving you that look like she's ready to get active. So then she said, but what was said about me, though? And then Lo was like, nothing was said about you in particular. She said, it's just that. Even if that Stunner and Tommy thing didn't happen, you were still late. <laughs> she said, and you still left early. She said, so you're saying I'm wasting everybody's time. She said, because you did waste everybody's time. And Lo, Lo is obviously like getting annoyed, but she's not even like bucking like how she used to do with Jada and Asia and Slim. But <laughs> she's not even bucking. She's really just chilling, letting her know what it is. And then she said, um... I don't know what your call time was, she said, but our call time, I think she said, was noon. And then she said, oh, okay, she said, but you guys weren't really even doing nothing. So while Lo is still trying to explain to her, Krishan looks up. And y'all, when Krishan looked up like that, I just looked down. Because <laughs> I was just like, oh, no. I'm like, this is, there's the moment. I'm like, this is the moment that we were all expecting. So she looked up, and in the middle of a low sentence, y'all, she just cracked her, hopped up and cracked her while she was sitting down, and was just like, me, 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 me. And Lo was just sliding down off the couch, trying to swing back, but Krishan got it. Nally gets up, faking like she's concerned, snatching Krishan, telling her to, not, yeah, snatching Krishan, telling her to stop. 
security coming in mad late. I'm like, where was y'all? I'm like, y'all know Natalie ain't strong enough to grab Krishan. Like, Krishan built like a man. Like, that girl is strong, strong. I'm like, she ain't gonna be able to stop Krishan. And y'all, that was it. That was the end of the episode. It was really sad. Next week episode is a continuation. Tommy, Tommy gets into the house. She got her sunglasses on. She walking in. She's like, what's going on? And Roly ready to fight. Stunner again. They finally score up and just bang. They just start fighting and Tommy jump in. And there was some girl in the blue. I don't know if that was Tommy's sister. Because Stunner did say that she did get jumped. But someone in the blue also jumped in the fight. And then Lo is pissed, y'all, as she should be, because she had like three knots literally lined up on her forehead. And she said, I'm trying to go out tonight. She said, I'm not trying to fight. I won't trying to do none of that. And she said, no, because I'm really mad. And I feel Razor again. I'm like, wow, Razor's really making sense to me. She said, you feel some type of way. You feel some type of way her doing that to you. Get your lick back. And I was like, absolutely. I'm like, plus she just literally jumped on you. But y'all, even when Lo, I guess, tried to get her lick back, she was still getting punched and just tumbling over. I'm like, dang, I'm like, what is going on? Because the problem is, I really think the issue is a lot of these girls that be fighting Krishan, they're not doing like straight punches. They just doing wild punches. Or maybe they're just so caught off guard because Krishan hit so hard. But they're always falling apart and tumbling over. And I'm like, goodness, like, just do a straight punch. Or at this point, let Krishan swing first and duck and uppercut a light. Be smart with it. But I guess when you're in the moment, you're just not paying attention. But that will be happening next week. A continue of this hot mess. And I'm going to continue to review you guys. Make sure you guys tune in. And also, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys next week. And thank you for watching Genius Reacts. Have a good one.